from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And it is the season when a lot of that cold air that's in Canada is going to be headed south. Right now we have warm air that's coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and moisture associated with it. Scattered showers still hanging around. Nothing other than just kind of inconvenient. Now, again, I'm only saying that around Tulsa southeast because if you're up around Bartlesville, you'd get mad at me for saying that. So I'm not saying it to you guys. It's heaven knows we need a lot more rain up to the north. In fact, what we're going to keep an eye on is if we can get additional heavier showers. We're getting some bands of showers coming through Bartlesville right now and through Osage County. And as I showed you a little bit ago, northwestern Osage County and western Chautauqua County up in Kansas end up some good rains. But that's still needing about another 50 miles to the east. So we do have some showers right now across the quiet county and uh, then uh, really from Salisaw. That extends down through LaFleur County. A few showers once again down in Pittsburgh County. So there's the rain. Uh, we still have a chance of moderate to some heavy rains, but it's shifted to the east again with more data. As there's a pretty good chance that the heavy rains that were in central Oklahoma expected have kind of shifted a little bit further east, a little bit faster. So that's putting eastern Oklahoma in better rain. But no, nah, I wanted a little bit more up in this area, right up here. But that's just going to be marginal. We're in the 60s to low 70s. Balmy weather for this time of year. This should be the high temperature for a day. So you know we're kind of messed up. In the morning, we'll have a chance of scattered showers in uh, just a few areas. It could have a little rumble of thunder. But thunderstorms that are right now along the Texas-New Mexico border will be moving in across western Oklahoma in the morning. Then they're going to march across the state during the day. So we're going to be very mild, breezy, slight chance storms in the morning and noontime, and then a better chance in the afternoon. Some of our models are kind of breaking it up a little bit as it moves here, but it should be very nice with rain and showers. Again, I just want to see this rain up in this area, up here. And so we're going to get some of that across the area. By morning, we're in the 60s on Thursday. And then the afternoon, if we luck out, we'll get a few rays of sun. It's very mild. So you're going, what's wrong with that forecast? And if you're east, you'll still have a few showers. 70. There's nothing wrong with that forecast. But then here's where it gets kind of a little bit wrong. because It gets a little bit too cold too fast. It's coming out of Canada again. We're looking at very mild weather in the morning on Friday. This cold front uh, with the new data is coming in a little bit faster. And so I think my temperatures are probably a little bit too warm at five o'clock then some of our models are saying it's going to be in the 40s across this entire area around 6 p.m. So our Friday night football games oh, prepare yourself get ready to order some hot chocolate because this is going to be some seriously cold air compared to what we are enjoying now. Saturday we're still looking for temperatures. They'll rebound a little bit but there's an upper level wave coming through so it'll be cold in upper 50s to low 60s and then a similar story on Sunday as a reinforcement of that cold air and you go thought that was on Friday. Well, it's again on Sunday. And so there will be some cold showers or drizzle. And you even see a little magenta color. That's a winter mix. That's like messed up. But that's this time of year, of course. So I shouldn't say it's that bad. All right, so our odds of rain are the highest as we go through late tomorrow. And then kind of dropping off a little bit. And then we come back again late Friday night into Saturday as that cold air comes in. We'll be kind of drizzle around. And then cold showers for Saturday night into Sunday. So it's a bit of a rough weekend. And then it is really cold next week for Halloween. So be prepared prepared for that and we really don't get a big warm up coming up for a while afterward as we're looking at just the next couple of days very warm. Also wanted to point out that there are a lot of colors out there just starting to pop up. All of the colors that are in red and orange colors those are the peak right now the darker colors past peak. So we're going to be over the next week to 10 days and moving toward Halloween itself. We're going to start to see the beginnings of the best colors showing up and that should continue through the first week of November. Temperatures today were extremely warm but once again we're keeping track of what's going on with this cold air up to the north because that is the difference of what's going to be making it feel a lot colder, a lot less comfortable, and some of you are ready for it, and that's fine. And it's going to take a little bit as that system starts to pull southward. It's going to hang up here for Wednesday on into the weekend. It'll be about Friday when that cold air starts to move on in, and then it's going to stick around. So that's going to give us cold weather on into next week as that takes a while for that to get out of here, so don't be surprised. The extended outlook, though, as we go from November, in December and January is for temperatures to be near or slightly above normal north, and we should have a normal beginning to winter anyway. 68 tonight at about midnight to 70 degrees. A few isolated showers will continue into the morning hours and then the afternoon showers. A few rumbles of thunder are going to be around. Some brief heavy downpours of rain could take us on into the evening hours. So high probability of rain and thunderstorms for Wednesday night. Tapering off on Thursday. Slight chance of drizzle and cold windy weather for temperatures at 68 is deceiving. It's going to be a lot colder late. And then you can see really chilly weather. Real fall weather comes in next week as we say hello to November. That is your nine-day planner.